So my uh, girlfriend is a uh, you know, cardio bunny. Uh, she runs a lot, and yeah. uh, I've read the book, and you know, and I really think you've done a great job articulating some of the things that I haven't been able to get Good, across thanks. properly. I'm glad. Um, but the, there's just one other thing. We always talk about um, muscular adaptation versus the c uh, cardiovascular adaptation, and uh, I've always tried to explain like why muscular is more important. It works more, but I've never been able to get that across because she's always talking about you need more oxygen uptake and VO2 max. And could you just explain the the difference there and what's that's about? I will as best I can. You know what I just realized, Anthony, is I apologize. I have a nervous habit of clicking these pins in all my own videos. I'm just always pissed off because I'm standing there clicking the pin right over the microphone. So I'm going to put this down so I stop doing that at the very end of this whole talk. So hopefully you're able to edit some of that out. But um, to answer your question, um, her question is not even correct, okay? Because it's predicated on several false assumptions that are predicated on other false assumptions. And the biggest false assumption that came out of years of, you know, aerobics-based research is that somehow this part of metabolism, the oxygen-using part of metabolism, is somehow uniquely hooked up to the cardiovascular system where the rest of this isn't, okay? But, I'm gonna have to pick up the marker again, but I promise not to click it. Um, but the thing is, you gotta realize, is that there's physiologically no way that you can take just this part of the metabolism in your cells and have it hooked up to your heart. Everyone thinks that aerobic equals cardiovascular to the extent that we don't have aerobics rooms anymore, we have cardio theaters. Aerobic and cardio has become interchangeable in people's lexicon. It's just not true. Because there's no way that you can isolate out this portion of metabolism and have it connected to the heart and the blood vessels. What you gotta realize is that the heart and blood vessels support the, metabol uh, support the entirety of metabolism, this whole thing. And the only way that you can get at this entirety of metabolism, or what I like to call global metabolic conditioning, is by doing mechanical work with muscle. And to the extent that you do a higher quality of mechanical work with muscle, the higher the quality of the cardiovascular stimulus is going to be, okay? Remember what we said, even if we were going to take her assumption that aerobic equals cardio, even if you do this, you can only ramp up cardio maximally if you give it substrate at the fastest rate possible that it can do it. And then afterwards, that gets converted back into substrate and continues to ramp that up. But the bigger issue is that these cardiovascular improvements, the vast, vast majority of them, everyone has it in their head, I do this exercise and something gets better in my heart and blood vessel. And that's true to some extent but it's way, way overstated. The vast, vast majority of cardiovascular adaptations that you see, my resting heart rate of 48, is not because of something so much that happened in my heart and blood vessels, but rather that is an autonomic, meaning central nervous system automatic, it's an autonomic adjustment to changes that have occurred at the cellular level within the muscle itself. Okay, so what you're perceiving is, oh, I got a low resting heart rate and, you know, my blood pressure's low and my heart rate's low and all that's good markers for health is not really something that's happened here. It's the fact that all these enzymes that make all this happen and these linchpin enzymes that keep the whole process going and lactate dehydrogenase and uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase, all those enzymes can upregulate and become more powerful and more efficient. And when that happens, when that's more powerful and more efficient, this has to work less hard. And that's borne out through the parameters that we measure, but it's not because of something that specifically happened there. All right, last question, that it? Guys, thanks so much, it's been an honor.